going to be today? Well, I just feel like something on the adventurous side, if you know what I mean. Yes, I do. And I believe we've got just the thing you're looking for. Jack London. Say he's still the greatest adventure writer of them all. The best one he ever wrote was The Sea Wolf. And you know it's a remarkable thing, but we get more calls for this book than any other adventure novel on our shelves. It's really one of the all-time best sellers. Do you mind if I browse through it a bit? I'm warning you, once you pick it up, you'll never be able to put it down. Out of the grim gray mantle of an all-enveloping fog, a strange vessel sets her sails towards an even stranger destination. A phantom of the seas whose very name strikes terror into the hearts of all seagoing men. And never was a ship better named, for in her foaming wake lies a trail of plunder and piracy. The most hated, the most feared vessel afloat, manned by a crew that had to be shanghaied from San Francisco's Barbary Coast. Men whose very souls belong to the most ruthless raider in the annals of the seas. A man? No, a brute, completely without feeling or conscience, who stalks the sea with all the lust and cunning of a wolf. A sea wolf. My strength justifies me, Mr. Van Wyden. The fact that I can kill you and let you live as I choose. The fact that I control the destinies of all on board the ship. The fact that it's my will and my will alone that rules here. It's Edward G. Robinson as Wolf Larson in a portrayal that far surpasses anything he's ever done. Ida Lupino as a girl of the Barbary Coast. The one girl in the midst of a hundred desperate men. Oh, give me a break, will you? Will you? You won't be sorry. I promise you, you won't. You're not on the Barbary Coast now. You're on board my vessel. You behave yourself or you'll spend the rest of the voyage locked below. Oh, I didn't mean it that way, Skipper. Honest, I didn't. Don't hold it against me, please. Oh, please give me a break, will you? John Garfield, as you've never seen him before. The only man to challenge the iron discipline of the sea wolf. He isn't talking to a dog, he's talking to a man. You're a man, huh? I've spit in the eye of better men than you for saying less. You're disobeying orders, Leach. I don't like the way you give them. Supposing I told you it don't make any difference to me anymore. You gotta fight. You can't quit. This ship is a scavenger, and he's the worst scavenger of them all. There'll be less of you come back alive from this voyage than went on it. Hey, Larson! Tell them about your brother, Death Larson. Tell them about the fear that comes into your heart at the mention of his name. I fear no man. No man. 